Hey everyone, I'm Melanie from Streamline Legal, where we help law firms get the most out of their practice management software. Tonight we're talking about a net promoter score. For those of you that aren't familiar with this, this is a KPI that a lot of uh, industries use in order to um, measure their client satisfaction, essentially. And it's a really, really great tool. There's been tons of books written about it, um, how it can be used. Uh, we're just going to barely scratch the surface tonight, but to show you how easy it can be to use. Um, and so basically a net promoter score is where you've probably seen one of these questionnaires before online or somewhere where it asks you how happy were you with the service and how likely are you to refer this um, service provider or website or whatever business you're using to a friend or colleague. And so um, you answer in a scale of one through 10, um, 10 being the highest, one being the lowest, and anyone that responds with a nine or a 10, then they're considered a promoter. And anyone that answers with um, seven or eight, they're considered passive. And then one through six is considered a detractor. And so we come up with a score simply by subtracting the detractors from the percentage of detractors, I should say, from the percentage of promoters. And that's how you get your score. Now, just to give you a idea of different industries, you know, cable companies usually are averaging 11% or so, somewhere in that range. Um, computers and tablet companies, they usually are closer to the 40s. In fact, a lot, of, um, a lot of industries that sell goods and services are somewhere between the 30s and 40s um, on average. And then the, a high score would be considered something like Amazon, where they have like 60. And then um, typically the legal... Um, field is somewhere near 25. And so when we're looking at these kind of numbers, you know, it's a great information to be able to start looking at what's working and what's not working and how are your clients responding to the services that you're providing. And so it can be a real nice, easy indicator. It doesn't take your clients a lot of time to respond. They can respond with comments, without comments, whatever. Um, but the numbers are really what we're looking at. And so I think that it's a really nice tool, but just like any KPI, we have to actually start tracking it if we're going to get the benefit from it. And so I know that can be a challenge in a lot of situations. And so I wanted to share with you a tool tonight that we have found um, that is really makes that process easy. So I'm going to jump over to my screen here, and the website that I'm looking at here is called Delighted, and it is super, super easy to use. I am a big fan of it because you can actually go ahead and get feedback from up to a thousand uh, responses a month for free. And so they provide you with this real nice dashboard. You can see you know, how many people have responded. You can see if they left you any comments um, and it starts giving you feedback immediately, which is really, really, really helpful. Um, but like I said, just like any tool, if it's hard to use or if it takes a lot of work, it's probably not going to fit very well into our workflow and we may or may not use it. So I wanted to come up with a couple of really easy solutions um, that you can start taking advantage of. Sign up for Delighted, absolutely free for a thousand responses a month. They have higher levels, of course. If you start getting into it, that's fantastic. Um, but all we have to do is click on here and it says uh, survey people. And these are the different tools you can use through Delighted. You can use email, web, text, get a link to send out however you want, set up a kiosk in your physical location. There's a lot of different options. The free version, you have to pick one. And so we went ahead and just put links so that we can use that link in a text message, in an email, however we want to use it. Um, and so when someone does click on our link, they're going to see this website, or I should say this web page, and um, they just simply pick a number. And then once you pick a number, you can go ahead and submit a, some information if you want to, um, they were so easy to talk to. Um, and then you can submit, and it's done. And then when I come back to my dashboard, of course, I'm going to see that feedback that we've gotten from those surveys. And so it's super, super easy to get that feedback. Um, but let's talk about how you're going to use it. So in our situation, we have a link. And so we can use that link in a lot of different places. I've seen people put that link at the bottom of their email signature. And that, of course, I mean, there's virtually nothing has to be done. You stick it there, and then every time you're interacting with a client, they're gonna see that, and hopefully they'll take advantage of it um, in, in a number of situations. 
Um, you can also email it out. You can text it out. We like to go ahead and create a process where a procedure where when the file closes, this is the form email that we send out to all of our clients explaining what happens when a file closes, and we can stick that link in there at the bottom. It's a lot like asking for a review, um, but it's just giving us different data or different information. In fact, a lot of times in that promoter score, um, a lot of people will, people will respond to it a lot more because um, it is so, um, it goes directly to us as opposed to being published. And so there is a difference between the recommendation and review versus the net promoter score. And so um, that's a really great way to work that into your closing file or closing case procedure. Um, and um, the, the key really is just to make it easy, right? So this software makes it easy by providing us that link. Um, we can also use a QR code if we want to print that somewhere or provide that somewhere. Um, but it all takes them to the same place, to the same survey, which is super easy for them to fill out and super easy for us to get the responses. So however you're getting feedback from your clients, please make sure that you do because it really will improve your business. If you're not soliciting that feedback from your clients, then you're really missing out on a lot of things that could be improved or um, you know, just, just taken to the next level and really heightened and really provide your clients with that much better service. So thanks for joining us tonight. Please let us know if you've tried Delighted or any other net promoter score um, methods. We'd love to hear about them. Have a great evening.